with Mara. Hi, how are uh, you? We're in the Creative Imaginations booth, and uh, some of the different elements that Creative Imaginations has come out with this release are very, very exciting for um, people. For me too. Exactly, <laughs> for people who enjoy artistic effects and adding different textures and mediums into your art journal. So I'm going to go ahead and let her take over because I have a feeling that I'm so excited about this stuff that I'm just going to fumble the words. So and I, may, I may fumble the words myself. Trained professional take over. Right, right. <laughs> But I am quite excited. Actually, this this product has actually been out for almost, I think, two years now. Okay. But the beauty of it is now we have more mediums to put on it. So we now have um, not just the Twinkling H2Os with the Luminarts, which we'll go check out in a minute, but we also have several other products now that are out. Um, they are actually acrylic based, so that they even give another texture to it. Um, we did turn in our um, wood into actual ATCs, and. The kind of, for me, the beauty of an ATC is just taking that art piece and making it smaller. It's a exactly. little less intimidation. I think it's a little less, um, too, uh, sense of committal. Right, right. And actually, that makes it, when you're experimenting, mm -hmm. you're not committing to such a big thing, and it's not such a fear to, like, exactly. oh my gosh, I'm going to mess up on this thing. It's just a two and a half by three perfect. and a half piece of paper. It's perfect. So I'm going to turn this oh, here. Really wait, quick. wait, what did you um, say? What tell them the about the substrate on the back. Okay. Oh my gosh. So the wood comes to two different types. One of them is going to be a thicker wood. So basically it's going to be something you would put through maybe your personal die cut system. And it's it's thick. Yeah. The other one actually feels like wood paper. It's very, very thin. It has a paper substrate on the back so that you can actually feed this through your printer. Yay. On the specialty setting, <laughs> right? You could print journaling, you can print photographs, you can print digital collage. I mean, awesome. you can really do your thing with it, and then do some touch up work, spray it with a workable fixative if you have inkjet, and then go ahead and maybe add a little bit of paint, do a little pen and ink, you know, go to town, maybe some colored pencil, Perfect. whatever you have. I'm sure, like us, we, you have lots of things to work with. And then we went ahead and did the ATC program, and this can actually be done traditionally for ATCs, or if you happen to have somebody that, that wants to do a round robins, they want to, you know, if you're doing a heart journal that's a round robin journal, yeah. or you can, then you have the similar pieces in that you can continue with, or use it for card making, or of course doing the ATCs. Mm -hmm. And we have the ones that are pre-colored, this makes it kind of easier for someone who's a little bit intimidated with using maybe some of the colors and things. And then we have some of them that are done in black and white. When it's printed with the black, it actually has a resist. So that means that um, your basically your paints, if it's a water base, will bubble up and you'll be able to clean it off and you've been able to tint all your embellishments and your cards, whatever colors you like. So all the black is going to be a gloss Correct. Uh, overlay. So basically Correct. it's going to be gloss on there. Correct. And then the background will be um, where so your finish. ink will go ahead. Oh, exactly, so. exactly. So it makes the paper work for you. One more minute. Sure. Let's go ahead and move on over here, I think. Um, we'll take this on the other camera. Okay, ultimate favorite. Perfect. My, my ultimate, ultimate favorite of this more. whole thing. So we have the um, primary elements. They actually create pigment. I mean, they actually create paint that when you use the uh, medium that's in this little bottle here, and that's a gel medium inside the bottle. It is a gel medium. You are going to be able to create paint that goes on fabric, on leather, on wood, on paper, on the little... The, the little Charlotte doll there. Yep. You can see, look how awesome that is. It goes on fairly even. Yeah, it's and easy. because it's not water based, because you're using the gel medium, it's actually going to go ahead and bind to that non porous surface. Correct. So this is on the wood. And then if you did it on leather, like on a shoe, for example, it'll actually move with your foot. It binds to it rather than laying on top of it. Okay, so, so yes, it binds into it and makes it flexible, maintains its flexibility. Absolutely.